Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Other Than an Education, the English Council. How are you keeping? Hope you will have a great week ahead. So, last week we finished the lessons about articles and determiners. Matakaine, some, any. How to use some, any, much, many, a lot, lots of. Oh, uh, and the we were talking about it. And we had a revision lesson as well because it was after a break we started. So if you missed any of our lessons, you can of course go to our YouTube channel and watch it on YouTube. So our YouTube is Adha Dharana Education, the English Council and all these lessons I discuss here, basic to intermediate level grammar are there on our YouTube channel. It's under English Face three English Council phase three so you can watch everything on YouTube so what is it uh, we are going to discuss this week yes it's good it's uh, again very interesting if you can remember the last uh, week uh, we uh, the final session was about uh, your questions yes so we have given some space for you as well um, uh, because there are a few requests for us to do certain grammar lessons so yes we have some viewers questions coming up so last week if you can remember we were talking about the difference of these two words uh, one is a word one is not a word but a, a part of a word which is a prefix so non and none non and none so when we were discussing this so this question was sent by uh, darshani darshani nanakara so darshani asked for the difference of non and none so I was talking about prefixes, if you can remember. Let me quickly recap. So um, if you take words in English, you have these words in families, right? So when you take the word agree, so if you take this as a base word, so I had a very descriptive lesson on suff uh, prefixes, suffixes, which is affixes. So um, if you missed the lesson, you can go and watch it. So if you fix something, um, before the word, right, you call it a prefix. So let's say, for example, you go and fix um, D-I-S here. So you get disagree, which is the opposite of agree. So this is a prefix which gives you the opposite of the base word. So disagree, right? And then you have suffixes where you fix after the word. And let's say agree and munt suffix munt and you have agreement which is a noun so all these words are in the same family which starts from the base word agree so this is all about the prefixes and suffixes i had a very descriptive lesson if you missed it on uh, tv you can watch it on youtube so none and none are uh, non is a prefix where you fix it to a word before the word and you again get the opposite of that word you are referring to so for example um, okay, let me erase this for you uh, let's give them the uh, screen right so this is this was a quick recap of what we did uh, it was the latter part of last week so non and none so as you can see non means look at the screen Non means the orange box, non, N-O-N, non. Non means not or without. Non kila kiyane neha ehem nattang eke itana mukakari without eke thora kiyane meaning. So if you take the word smoker, if you say non-smoker, smoker is a person who smokes. Dum bona pudgaleata api smoka kiyana, dum bona nati pudgaleata pavichkaran nati kiyana api kiyane non-smoker. Look at the screen. Uh, so you have alcoholic madrav, uh, non-alcoholic and uh, you must have seen this word non-alcoholic drinks it can a non-alcoholic drink there is no alcohol in those drinks so this is a non non non-alcoholic alcohol and non-returnable there is this shop I mentioned the white clothes are non-returnable non-returnable can returnable can you can return return able but I'm not going to pay anything able can suffix second able can hacky out here 
meaning එක වුණත් able කියන එක හැකියාව තියෙන එතකොට returnable කියලා කියන්නේ return කිරීමට හැකියාව ඇති. ඒතර returnable. එහෙම හැකියාව නැත්තම් non returnable, non exchangeable, right? මේ වචන දැකලා ඇති. එතකොට non තියෙන තැනක ඔර හිතා ගන්න පුළුවන් non කියන එක prefix එකක් ඇතිට ගිහලා දාන්නේ no or without. අර තියෙන base word එකේ quality එක නැහැ කියන meaning එක, right? Look at the screen. and you have profit organizations if you don't make profit in an organization like ngos you call these ngos non profit organizations e kiyanne vyapara pavatwa gena yanne laba upayanna neme profit organizations kiyala kiyanne laba upayumita thiyana aayathana non profit organizations kiyala kiyanne laba upayannata nuwe e aayathana thiyenne so non is a prefix and it gives the meaning no or without that quality right okay so what is none look at the screen none kiyala kiyanne again nahama thamai but it is a pronoun pronoun ara he she wage pronoun ekak not any no one kiyana meaning ekak nan eke thiyenawa right none of the participants none of the participants kissima participant ke none of the kiyana dana api kemu none of the participants none of the students none of the colleagues none of my friends none of the family members kiyala kiyuwot ekene kawuruth naha kawuruth ekene family none of the family members ape pauli member kenek කිසිම කෙනෙක් member කෙනෙක් නැහැ ඒ විදිහට තමයි none of the family members කියලා දැම්මොත් ඒ අදාළ group එකෙන් නන් කියලා කිව්වොත් කවුරුත් නැහැ කියන meaning එක අපි දැනෝ you get the screen so none of the participants came none of the students asked questions right none oh i want none මට මුකුත් එපා i want none මට මුකුත් එපා again none means නැහැ again not any කියන meaning එක තමයි හැබැයි none කියන එක tani in stand karanna puluwan wachanayak but non kiyana eka you always use it as a prefix right api gihilla prefix pre kiyala kiyanne mokadda kalin pre kiyala kiyanne kalin fix karanawa kalin pre fix prefix api kalin gihilla fix karana ekak thamai non kiyala kiyanne so there this is the difference darshini so that was your question so i answered that so this week the lineup is so we had darshini's question and then we have Okay so Otto Otto Lanka I'm not quite sure who this person is Nama Neha Abai yes thank you very much again for your compliment and yes you have complimented us for uh doing these lessons in an interesting way thank you very much for that Pute so um would have and future tenses කියන එක අපි මිස් කරලා තිබුණා කියලා දාලා තිබුණා future tenses වල මම හිතන්නේ අපි part එකක් කරා අපි කොහොම ඉවර කළේ නැහැ future perfect වගේ ගැටෙන අපි වැඩිය future perfect පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ නැති හින්ද but yes i will do a lesson on future tenses for the time being i have picked would have uh to uh, discuss here in the session so yes would have and future tenses karana kiyala thiyena so i am going to talk about would have so we've talked about would have usage and how to use it when to use it we've talked about it but i thought of doing it again because it's a, again um, sometimes people may consider it as a very advanced structure structure yes the structure itself is a bit advanced because you need the verb past participle and you have lot of helping words in between like would and have coming uh, before the main verb uh the past participle of the main verb and yes structure is a bit complicated kind of confusing but when you're used to it and when you know when to use it it'll be very easy for you to use so let's talk about would have when to use would have would have kela kattiya dala katha karana wahala thiyenada mm ehena api balama mokadda kela right okay let's look at uh one sentence right balanna meka තව මහන්සි වෙලා පාඩම් කරන්න තිබුණා තව වෙලාව තිබුණා නම් right මේක මම මීට කලින් මේ example මේ විදිහටම ගෙනහලා දෙන්න හැබැයි කමක් නැහැ අපි පාඩුවක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ මේ එක එක විදිහට examples බලන එක right තව මහන්සි වෙලා පාඩම් කරන්න තිබුණා තව වෙලාව තිබුණා නම් right කරන්න තිබුණා දෙයක් මෙහෙම දෙයක් තිබුණා නම් now tell me have i studied no I haven't studied and is it like a complaint I'm making? A complaint එකක් වගේද? අයෝ මට වෙලාව තිබුණා නේ. වෙලාව තිබුණා නම් පාඩම් කරන්න තිබුණා. මේ වගේ දේවල් ඔයාටත් කියන්න වෙනවා නේද? වෙලාව තිබුණා නම් පාඩම් කරන්න තිබුණා. සල්ලි තිබුණා නම් ඒක ගන්න තිබුණා. ම්ම් එහෙට ගියා නම් එයාට කතා කරන්න තිබුණා. ම්ම් නිදා ගත්තා නම් 
තවතික කැඟට රෙස්ට් එක හම්බ වෙන්න තිබුණා දැන් මේ ඔයගොල්ලෝ කරලා නැති දෙයක් හැබැයි මට මේ දේ තිබුණා නම් මේ දේ හම්බුණා නම් මට මේ දේ කරන්න තිබුණා කියලා ඔයගොල්ලෝ කියන ව්‍යාරවල් කීයක් තියෙනවද ජීවිතේ ඇත්තටම වුඩ් හැව් කියන ස්ට්‍රක්චර් එක we cannot say no to the wood have structure because this is the easiest i think one of the easiest ways to, ways to talk about what මොනවද අපි ජීවිතේ යම් දෙයක් නොකරපු දෙයක් ගැන සමහර විට මේක පසු තැවීමකින් කියනවා වෙන්න පුළුවන් you may be having some regrets right පසු තැවීමකින් කියනවා වෙන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම නැත්තම් යම් දෙයක් තිබුණේ නැති හින්දා නොකරපු දෙයක් ඒක නිසා වෙච්ච රිසල්ට් එක විදියට දෙයක් කතා කරනවා වෙන්න පුළුවන් look at this example එතුමා පත්තුනා නම් විශිෂ්ට නායකෙක් වෙන්න තිබුණා එතුමා පත්තුනා නම් විශිෂ්ට නායකෙක් වෙන්න තිබුණා එයා පත් වෙලාද නැහැ කවුරු හරි පුද්ගලයෙක් ඒ පුද්ගලයා පත් වුණා නම් එයා හොඳ නායකෙක් වෙන්න තිබුණා රයිට් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි මේ ඇත්තටම නොවුන දෙයක් ගැන අපි නිකන් පොඩ්ඩක් ප්‍රෙඩික්ෂන් එකක් වගේ කතා කරනවා නේද අපි හිතනවා එහෙම දෙයක් වුණා නම් එහෙම වෙන්න තිබුණා ආ එහෙම දෙයක් වුණා නම් වෙන්න තිබුණා එහෙම මෙන්න මේ ඇවිල්ලා මේ කතාව අපි මේ ජීවිතේ මේ කියන කතා මේ ඔක්කොම වැටෙන්නේ would have කියන structure එක ඇතුළට එහෙම මට තිබුණා නම් මට ඒක කරන්න තිබුණා මම ගියා නම් හම්බ වෙන්න තිබුණා මට මේ දේ තිබුණා නම් ඒක කරගන්න තිබුණා මට ඕක හම්බ වුණා නම් මට ඒ විදියට කියන්න තිබුණා right මේ විදියට මේ කතා ඇත්තටම වැදගත් වැදගත් නේ නේ අපි කියනවනේ නේ මේවා හ්ම් අපි ප්‍රසන්ත් perfect වලදී we were talking about some like a part of it right පුළුවන්කම තිබිලත් මම කරේ නැහැ can you remember right එහෙම නැත්තම් මේ වාට ඒක නම් කරන්න තිබුණා හරි ඔයා ඒක කරන්න යුතුව තිබිලත් කරපු නැති දෙයක් should have could have if you can remember you so you can go back to our lessons on youtube and watch the lessons on could have should have so would have i would say is um, now you have two parts to sentences mehema deyak tibuna nan mehema wenna tibuna onnoy parts deka meka thuwela thamai would have eke diyenne samahara de meka confusing wenawa atte e nisa but it is not going to be after uh, today so let's talk about it after this break Welcome after the break and you're with Adha Dharana Education, the English Council Phase 3 and we are talking about your questions. Yes, I'm answering uh, some of your questions. So we were talking about non and none. It was by uh, Darshani Nanayakara on YouTube. Yes, that's why I always say connect with us on YouTube. If you have any questions, send us the questions. We would love to uh, facilitate th those lessons here or in our studios. So the second question was would have. So these are some of the questions you've sent. So what is would have? How to use would have? And then we are talking about passive voice this week. Oh yes, passive voice. I know passive voice sentences or passive voice construction. When to use, why to use passive voice is a question for you. For most of us, right? So I am going to clear things for you this week on the passive voice because that was also a question sent to us by one of you right okay so uh make muna the me me kata wapi bala muda mini neka ten seke muka the ten seka kele kyan hemma tisema monkey and awage ten seka kema neta ten seka kena nikan sentence seka kale and tuna kata natu echa so you have your present you have your past you have your future abhi me kala tuna atuli the gana tamai hemma kata wakma karani එකෝ අතීතයේ එකෝ වර්තමානයේ එකෝ අනාගතයේ මේ කාල තුන ඇතුලේ තමයි කතා කරනවා කියලා අපි කියන්නේ කමියුනිකේට් කරනවා එහෙම නැත්නම් ලියනවා කියන එක අපි කියන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒ එක එක කාල වලට අදාළව සෙන්ටෙන්සස් තියනවා නේ අපි වර්තමානයේ කියන දේ අතීතයට අදාළ වෙන්නේ නැහැ. මොකද ඒ ටෙන්සස් නිසා ඒක තමයි ටෙන්සස් කියලා කියන්නේ. ඉතින් හැම ටෙන්ස් එකකටම මීනින් එකක් තියෙනවා. ඇයි මේ ටෙන්ස් එක යූස් කරන්නේ? If you take simple present tense, I eat rice every day. I go for a walk in the morning. 
um, at night I always read a book so these are your habits you, you will use simple present tense to talk about your routines simple present use whereas you will use simple past tense to talk about um, your uh, the day uh, your um, right yesterday or about last week and to tell stories you will use the simple past tense I ate I drank I went to that place uh, last week maybe they toy pavich kare why ivara karapu why age jeevithi ivara vech actions gana kathagra and then to talk about your future plans i will go there mena thang i am going to do that mena thang i am making it tomorrow me structures api pavich karano api anagathe gana kathagra me vidiyata meaning ekak thiyena hama tense ekatama hama vakyatama meaning ekak thiyena mukad dehenang me kathave thiyena meaning ekak yes i know this is in singular but i want you to get the meaning before we uh, move ahead with the structure right so එහෙම දෙයක් වුණා නම් වෙන්න තිබුණා වෙලාද දෙ නැහැ ගොඩක් වෙලාවට අපි මේක යූස් කරන්නේ so this is about would have you use this to talk about regret මොකද regret කියන්නේ regret කියලා කියන්නේ පසුතැවීම යමක් නොකරා කියන පසුතැවීමකින් අපි කතා කරන්නේ හැබැයි you have a reason behind it යම් දෙයක් නොවුණා තමයි මට ඒක ගැන දුකයි නමුත් ඒක නොවුනේ මෙහෙම දෙයක් विशेष that had happened or maybe hadn't happened vela nathi deyak gana and then we use this structure to talk about imagine scenarios right imagined imagined oage manasa athule mavila thiyena deya de vela na me hamma tanaka dima koma hari deyak mona hari ekko vela na ehema nathan oage hittata anukoolawa vela na ehema nathan vela thiyenawa ekata oya etchara pleased na hai ek gana oya achar kamatak na ek gana vich ek gana samahara velawata right e nisa me imagine scenarios ane mehema una na right kiyala past ekey di vela nathi dewal gana same thing wish ekak wagema thama wish ekak kiyanne thekai ane mehema deyak una na ayyo ehema una na mehema wenna thibuna ne ayyo aparada mata he eka eka karana mehema karanna thibuna ne a me regrets me okkoma ekkama wage thamai theru mehata mehata wenne so yes this is about would have right this is would have it's basically a wish right so let's look at the structure now after the meaning let's look at the structure now structure is a bit confusing as you can see podda kitara ah then ma metana me mark karala ne helping verb eka ehem ehema kiyala mark karala ne habai balanda apita patan gana me meke yes look at the screen so if you take this as the as part 1 and this as part 2 part 2 can be at the beginning and part 1 can be the second now here part 1 is first part 2 is second right part 2 kiyana kiyanne me me thunama boxes thunama ekathuwa part 1 kiyala kiyanne me boxes athara me ekathu right okay right so what's the structure if subject had verb past participle right and then the second part of the sentence subject would have verb past participle and hamma thanama api verb ek api tumana wenne mokada past participle form of the verb of course you can have had not wouldn't have wage ewat enda puluwan haba metan de api positive ekey indara indala man den structure ekak gana kiyala denna right so if you just write a sentence using this if subject if kiyana ekak daanne ai condition ekak mokada meka wela naha ne ehema unna nam එහෙම වුණා නම් එහෙම තිබුණා නම් ඔය ඇවිල්ලා වුණා නම් තිබුණා නම් ඔයගොල්ලෝ මතක නම් මේ ඇවිල්ලා if කියන condition එකක් මත යට වෙලා අපි කියන්නේ එහෙම condition එකක් තිබුණා නම් එහෙම condition එකකට වුණා නම් කියන meaning එකනේ ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා තමයි අපි if එකක් දාලම පටන් ගන්නේ right look at the screen so if 
I will take the subject as I. So, for any subject it is the same structure ok, it is very easy because of that the structure. So, if I had if I had if I had अभी वो नम वर्ब का का पास पार्टिस बोलता हूँ हरी बात है मैं वेला आवे ना वा उन्नो उत्तरे if I had studied हाँ if I had studied हरी दें मैं हम किया ना कोटा मा if I had studied किया ला माँ पार्टन कर ला दे ने if I had studied if I had studied किया ला किया ने माँ पार्टन कर ला नंग मैं इफ़ किन था माँ माँ पार्टन कर ला नंग Mama padang kerana, mana ada benda tiupan? Mama padang kerana, mata pas benda tiupan. Nah, samahara ada meja sahaja dengan urut berusaha saya bilang ni samahara bapa la kia na mati, right? Nah, putar la kia na mati, putar la dua la kia na mati. Ayo, ama mama padang kerana, mata meja pada berusaha sekarang tiupan ane. Mama padang kerana, exam pas benda tiupan ane. Right, mangai kelas sekitar gian ang, eh mana tak mami sekolah hemat ayam gigi leh dah, ada keran ang, mici pada orang tu risas gana tibu nane. Samahara bela ang, tak amala kian ang, ane pelan pute. Oya, eh dini dah, ada dini dah, mak keran ang, wad mici pada lakonu gana tibu nane, mii ukku me avila. This is the structure, so this person has not done it, has not studied, hebe keran ang, bini tibu nane. Unno ikat ang, right? Look at the screen. So if I had studied, mami pada ang keran ang. Kala nang condition ni ka, if, right, mana ada, I, mana, I ye ka would have, would have, you can say would have, as well, would have, kira kira ni pulau, so would have is the contracted form of would have, so if I had studied, I would have, I would have, mana ada, we're past participle, abis mana ada, I would have. Muna ada. Padang kerana ang pasti nanti pun I would have passed. I would have passed. Orang mantau kita sentence agak add kerana ang I would have passed the exam. I would have passed the exam. Lesi ni ada structure ni ka. Hari ini lesi. Apa example sih kak balam, right? So if subject had verb past participle, subject would have verb. Iti meten di wuna nang, ti buna nang. Keranang, kata kelanang, gianang, meukum yang ni ada if kian. Keranang, min, condition ekat. Mereka ada la conditionals walat ekat condition ekat. Third conditional, if I'm not mistaken, or the fourth conditional this is. So me fourth conditional ekat if kian, me parts dekam mana tikah kita ada advanced structure ekat. Hebat, lese. Ekat mana you need to use your verb past participle because you see the auxiliary had. And would have have a cock had the cock in a quarter and if I am up with a big past participle like a time I am so know that right so if I had the past 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 it past 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 participle subject would have done it would have made it would have finished it muka curry it up as a when the tibuna when the tibuna data my second part to get in it or a second part to come over and not pull up I would have passed the exam, right? On the balance second part, I would have passed the exam if I had studied hard. If I had studied hard, I would have passed the exam if I had studied hard. If I had studied hard, I would have passed the exam. Part one, after that part two, part two after that part one. In no pula, no problem. Only thing is, if sentence ke in ekka mulin tiyan ana madhudi sent koma ekada ana ma. Eh mana tang Google second part tengen patangga tu, koma kat dana, because you have your if as the bridge, if as the bridge, if sentence kat depan ni ada tu, nampi koma kat dana ni. This is for writing, right? Okay, so make it in examples tikak balan. Lama hece dawa sapi patangga, mau make structure keng. Lian de balan, oya agi jiwite, oya pasu tamena dewal. Hebe me pasu tamena kat tikak luku kata waktu diri kian. Eh mati buna nang, eh muna nang win dati buna. Lihat tiada yang berlalu. Ini struktur kehari lese. Take a screenshot and write some examples from your life. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.